Hey, Corey. What? Want to see a cool psychic trick? Okay, you're not psychic, but sure. Sure, I'm psychic. I can bend this spoon. Okay, obviously there's not a spoon there. <laughs> okay, that was kind of amazing in itself, but how are you going to do that? Watch. I don't know if I should be amazed or scared out of my mind. That was pretty impressive. I'm sorry I ruined your spoon. That's the only spoon I have in this house. What am I supposed No, soap is ruined! <laughs> and this is our review of Red Lights. Is a synopsis. When a legendary psychic comes out of retirement suddenly, a physicist becomes obsessed with proving that he's a fraud. What did you think about this movie, Josh? Go with the plot first, of course. I actually liked the plot. Yeah, it was pretty good. It, it was, was pretty good. I mean, oh god, but some of the parts were just so confusing. There were a lot the of The end parts. bit and all of it, like when you're supposed to tie everything together, mm -hmm. I was more confused and you had to tell me what was going on. And basically the whole movie is about Toby Jones and, Sig how do you say her name, um, Signori Weaver, you know what I'm talking about, hold on, I'll do it, the, girl, the girl from Aliens. Right, they were proving that paranormal activity doesn't exist, that's a whole, what the whole movie was about. It was, it was actually about, like, psychic powers and extraordinary abilities. Right. so Simon Silver comes and he's been like the top psychic for Robert ever. De Niro. Right, De Niro. <laughs> uh, he, he, basically they want to prove that he's a fraud. The story of that happening was very interesting. It, I loved it that. Was. But there was, like you said, there's parts where just like, it, it's very confusing. Because when you find out the end of this movie, you're just like, mm, yeah. not a big fan of how they twisted it. I like the thriller, mm -hmm. um, like, suddenly there's a huge twist on it type thing. I wasn't a fan of how they explained everything, or uh, lack of explanation, actually. Yeah, very much so. Toby Jones was talking... And you're like, okay, well, he's getting all of this and getting all of it and getting all of it. There's no directed approach to what he's saying. Right. He's just like, I should have believed in myself to begin with. And it's like, what does that mean? Right. And, and the, the beginning and the middle was, I don't know, it just felt like it was all over the place for me. I mean, I get the point. The ending particularly felt like, because one minute he's on a bridge. Right. Then he's walking out of the building. And then he's at... Um, Sigourney Weaver's, right, right the son's doctor's Hospital. office turning off everything, <laughs> and then he's back in front of the building, and you're like, right, okay. To me, it felt like a bunch of writers came together, and like, literally, they wrote scene to scene, and they didn't know how the movie was going to end. Yeah. So they just said, oh, I know a good ending, and it really is kind of a, I don't know, it's not a horrible ending, it's just like, no. doesn't really sums it up, I don't it's, know. I like these actors. Robert De Niro, Sigourney Weaver. Uh, Toby Jones. Toby Jones. I keep forgetting your name. I like these you actors. You guys did an excellent job I, in acting. I mean, Robert De Niro, I, you are actually intimidating in this movie. You're brilliant, my friend. But the last couple movies I've seen you in, you've been intimidating. So, <laughs> right. um, I personally love Toby Jones, and I thought Toby Jones did an excellent Scarecrow, job. Scarecrow, he always plays the... <laughs> like the genius, intelligent scientist or psychiatrist that goes a little mad. Sigourney Weaver. Yeah. I, I always like your character, Elizabeth Olsen. Um, you were kind of just a throw-in character. <laughs> <laughs> like no offense, <laughs> to be honest. But I like you more than your sisters. That's true. You have better acting skills than your sisters, which isn't really a compliment no. because the last thing I saw her sisters in was when they played detectives. Yeah. Um, overall, it was an okay movie. Yeah, it was a, it, it was an average movie. Is it, it? Will you forget about this movie next week? 
probably. Like, in it's, my opinion. I, it's not something that, oh, I'm going to remember this it's for a not, long time. It's not in my top five. Oh, no. Definitely not. Because I... But it's a good movie to kill some time with. Right. And I love thrillers. Love them. And if they have, like, a very good ending and a punch, and you're like, oh, that was satisfying, I'd give it a higher score. I wasn't satisfied yeah. with the ending. I was... There's a couple thrillers that I have, like Shutter Island. Oh, yeah. Shutter Island at the end, you're just like, what? Boom! And your head just explodes. Right. This one, we were both we both knew the ending. Right. At the beginning, yeah, I totally we knew what the we ending was. We told them was. what was going to happen. Yeah. And there's a, like little thing that they're trying to find out by the psychiatrist that we figured out right away. In. We knew it. We, we knew it was going to happen. We didn't even have to... We didn't even meet Robert De Niro yet <laughs> right. in was, the movie, and we knew the that same, right, the this same. was going to happen. Right. We're not going to say it, because right. we want you to watch the movie. I mean, the only problem I really had is the lack of explanation mm -hmm. throughout the whole thing. Because mm -hmm. at the beginning, it's kind of like a prologue of what they do. With, right. They're with the family... You didn't get it. You didn't right. put together how they knew all and when that they flash back until the, later. When they flash back the scenes to make you understand it, you're still like, you're not helping me out okay. here. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I'm going to give it three out of five. It's a tough movie to rate. Mm -hmm. It really is. Because on one hand, you're really entertained by it and you're really drawn in. But it's then after movie. you turn it off, you're just, well, I have lack of answers for all that. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with them. I'm going to go three. I'm going to go average because I feel if I give it more... It makes it seem like I liked it, like, you know, more than it should be. It's, it's an average. Three. Yeah. So, that's it. Thank you so much for voting. This was actually a really good poll. Five votes. Uh, next week, good old buddy here is going to be uh, doing the poll. <laughs> uh, that ought to be interesting. We always have fun with that. That's about pretty much it. So, vote in the polls. And we shall see you next time on Netflix Critics. Goodbye. See ya. I'm sorry I broke your fork. You... Spoon. I'm sorry I broke your screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, go get the governor. Uh, Sigmund Fre Weaver. Sigmund Freever? Signori Signo Weaver. I don't know what the hell how to pronounce it. Preview.